Hey, this is Peggy, and I just wanted to show you a reason why you might want to learn Precise Create and, and to, instead of using Quick Create to um, digitize some uh, line type drawings. And I'm going to show you the difference right now. I'm going to remove or t on click the pattern so there's no pattern. And I'm going to use a quick stitch with auto hole right now. I'm actually going to turn my line width back to a 2 because I don't want it quite as thick. And then I'm just going to click out here. And remember, quick stitch with auto hole will do everything um, and go around holes. So there we have. Looks great. Looks perfect, right? But when you start looking in it a little bit closer, you're going to find that there are two rows of satin stitches. And if I were to take and grab one of these nodes and move it out, you can see that very clearly. That's going to create a very dense design. Um, you have two rows of satin stitches right on top of each other. So you may not want to to use quick stitch or quick stitch auto hole for that um, type of a line drawing. Instead, you may want to go over, this is the same design, and now I'm in precise create, and I picked what kind of a line I wanted. I'm going to get rid of this. Well, I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I'm going to pick what kind of a line I want. I am going to go to create line or area. And I'm just going to lay down my nodes. And when I've got things the way I want them to be, right click and you have your satin stitch and it's just one line so that's the difference between using that premier plus two ultra create um, precise create um, you don't have that double row of stitches when you do it this way and i want to remind you that if you start learning how to do modify Right here, you've got some overlap that's going to create quite a bit of thickness or density. Plus, you've got another layer on top of it, which could also create some, some problems. Uh, if you learn the um, modify module, there's ways to get rid of a bunch of those stitches so you don't have that overlap. Okay? Thanks for listening. Bye. I'm going to add just a little bit more to this video. If you hold down the control key and then click on the node, it becomes a square. A square gives you a angle instead of a curve. When I was first using learning how to use um, Precise Create or any of the Create where I could go in and, and alter these nodes, um, I would click on the node and something would be a, a nice angle and then I click on it and then I would all of a sudden turn to a curve and it used to irritate the living daylights out of me. And then I learned that holding down that control um, button on your um, keyboard would allow you to get that angle back. So that's something to also keep in mind. You can, if needed, go to the home you can also delete points. You can insert points. Sometimes you have to insert a point to um, go around a curve or take points out that are unneeded. Um, sometimes if you take a point out, it will take um, a jagged edge out of a curve. 
and and make it uh, smoother. But always, always, always remember: once you're mess done, once you've used some of these, go back to edit points. Otherwise, the next time you click on a point, it's going to delete it or insert it or whatever it's been on. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Bye.